assalamu alaikum dear learners in this short video i am going to explain the working of a flash or a parallel adc although flash adcs are vastly used in practical applications the major drawback coupled to them is their large physical size this large physical size is because of the fact that this adc use 2 raised to power n minus 1 comparators to complete the conversion where this n stands for the number of bits for example an 8 bit flash adc will use 255 comparators now that is a large number if you consider that in a number of practical applications 24 bit or higher adcs are used so can you figure out the number of comparators required for implementing a 4 bit flash adc surely the number is going to be huge on the contrary these adcs truly work like a flash they require only one clock pulse to perform the conversion now this is a serious upgradation as compared to successive approximation adcs which i discussed in another video that required 256 clock pulses for 8 bit conversion and for a 24 bit conversion it will require ages practically all sorts of video communication is being done utilizing the flash adcs even youtube utilizes these adcs for showing you this video so any situation where you can't wait for conversion to complete using a small number of comparators you need a flash adc implementing a large number of comparators that will give you the result in a single clock pulse i'll try to explain the working of a flash adc using an example of a 3 bit flash adc this 3 bit flash adc is going to use seven comparators to perform the conversion in addition to comparators a priority encoder will also be used in some examples this priority encoder is replaced by a digital logic circuit that makes up this priority encoder however you can find a priority encoder ic quite easily from the market an eight line to three line priority encoder will convert the eight levels into a binary output the working of a flash adc can be compared with a level sensor that use multiple sensors inside a container for example if the water level or the liquid level in the container is this much as shown in the figure then the lower four sensors will be showing an output whereas the upper three sensors will show no output by using the outputs of the lower four sensors you can easily figure out the level in the beaker for example if no level sensor is giving you an output then it means the liquid is lower than the lower most level sensor in this case the output can be a 0 0 0 using 3 bits whereas in the case shown the liquid is at the fourth level this means the 3 bit binary output should also be at the fourth level that is 100 zero, zero, which is a binary for 4 however in a case where all seven sensors are giving you an output that is the liquid level is higher than the seventh level then the three bit output corresponding to this situation would be 111 that would be representing the seventh output so using three bits you can represent levels from 0 to 7 that is eight different levels now let me explain that how this 3 bit flash adc will work the first thing i need to make sure is that the reference voltage shown over here should be equal to the maximum value the input voltage can have for example if the maximum input voltage can be 7 volts then the reference should be a constant dc value of 7 volts the simple series correction of these 7 resistors will divide the v reference into seven equal voltages that is at this place you are going to see a 7 volt over here you will have 6 volts then 5 4 3 2 1 and these voltages will be applied at the inverting terminal of the operational amplifier whereas the non inverting terminals of the operational amplifier the input voltage will be applied you can easily see that if the input voltage is larger than for example 6 then these comparators will give a positive saturation value whereas this comparator is going to give you a negative saturation value 
normally in this case the negative saturation value is zero and the positive saturation value is a positive voltage for example it might be plus 5 volts or plus 12 volt depending on the application so you are going to see a zero in the first line and one in all other lines comparing this with the level sensor which we saw in the previous slide you can easily see that six comparators are giving you an output whereas the highest comparator is not giving you an output. Then the voltage is somewhere between the seventh and the sixth level. So the binary output would be corresponding to the sixth level and using three bits the output would be 110. Let me explain the working of this flash ADC in a more detail by generating a complete truth table. For this, let us label this comparator as C1, then C2, this will be C3, C4, C5, C6, and lastly C7. Over here, I am going to write down possible ways in which the input voltage can vary. For example, this V in can be greater than or equal to 7 volts, or it can be greater than or equal to 6 volts greater than or equal to 5 volts, greater than or equal to 4, then we can have a 3, then a 2, a 1, and a 0. Over here I am supposing that if the voltage is greater than or equal to 6, it is less than 7, or if it is greater than or equal to 5, it is less than 6 which means that the 7 means value greater than 7, the 6 means value between 6 and 7, then this 5 mean value between 5 and 6, this 4 would mean value between 4 and 5 and so on. So whatever is the input voltage, what will be the corresponding condition or the output of the comparator? Let me write down the values over here by first writing their names. So I can have a table like this, which can be used to tabulate all the values. So if the input voltage is greater than seven, all these comparators are going to give you a positive saturation output that is one. And if the value of the input voltage is greater than six, but lesser than seven, then the first comparator that is C1 is going to give you a negative saturation value or a zero and all other comparators are going to give you a 1. Similarly, if the value of the input is somewhere between 5 and 6, the first and the second comparator are going to give you a 0, whereas all other comparators are going to give you 1s. And if I can follow this procedure, I will come up with this complete table. So at the end, the job of the priority encoder will be to encode these levels into binary output. We can use three bits to encode these eight levels. So if I am using three bits, for example, B1, B2, and B3, I can encode the eighth level or the largest level using 111. Then the sixth level can be encoded using 110 and 101. 100, zero, 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 one, one, and the last would be 000. zero, zero. So using three bits, I can encode eight levels. Now, if the input voltage is somewhere between five and six, the binary output would be 101. And if the input voltage is somewhere between two and three, the output would be 010. You can see that this kind of ADC requires only one clock pulse to give you the final binary output. I hope that you have understood the working of a flash ADC through these examples. If you like our video, then kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.